kikubor ka batesi tv lawan rasha phi ta ka frank motors the all new altros now with more exciting features ka iz group of institution bangalore ka dai ka college babatam nabanta ka jingpuli nursing but paramedical course hospital training thnio scholarship but 60% ka kam ha ki hostel bahe do ha india but shabari nabanta ka jingpuli ka jingsiu ka bare pat phila bandai puli da ka education loan phila ro banchu call ha number khndai nyo nyo sau sau sandri rio prano lani khndai pran rio laisan andri wei khndai Dang hakidi ke khindiat singi ke bate CCTV kelawan ra shapi kinong pen ya ke jingko jongko um wa um kra hndrei menta ke singi ke arp santrik unalar ar haza apula ke kenhun dung khubo jongi kala yo ben ringdur ya ke jingpen khu ya ke jabo jaban hapung umyam hakashtong maudun da ke smart village movement ke bae treilang bat ke ba ke lihas ke shnong maudun ke dikaja ka ke ba ke wa um kra bat ke wa um shirpi kelen share ya ladi hapung umyam Hadian bakilak kilut ya kejabot jaban bala Brad Dusman dah kipat bah ke Sir Shillong. Kejing pun kuat ya kadi kebentar jangka pung om yam dah kebab pendan kam dah ukulia bot mentah la lai semi kenti. Kadeling bah kejingnya terilang juga Mikhalia Energy Corporation Limited bat ke Smart Village Movement. Thank you. 
Actually, there will be a truck over there. Okay. It will come and collect all the trash to take it to the dump inside. I see, I see. Uh, so, how was the fishing? Oh, man. We collected like over 250, 300 kgs. Oh, already? Already. Yeah. And Different kind of fishes, shoes, bags, sandals. Yeah. So, we've been collecting this for about one hour approximately. Okay. Yeah, they are collecting at around 50 to 60 kgs in like 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. And you see, doesn't seem to end. <laughs> so, so, uh, actually, we've been running this business like as a startup for about three years now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, this robot was built about two years ago. This design. Okay. And now we've been, you know, running it across the world. This is the first time we are here in Nagali. This yeah, one, uh, we have about 12 more uh, robots. So here, yeah, just this one, this is what you know. This same design. Yeah. Fully electric. Fully electric? Yeah. The, these cabins that you're seeing, no? They're all batteries. So you, you can take all of this out and there's a battery in the middle. And this is the charging port, where is it? The, uh, we, plug, we plug the charging here and you know, just charge the robot up. This runs for about four hours. It didn't have to be charged. Yeah, in one full charge it runs for four hours and then we put it on charging. It charges for another four hours to run for another four hours. And it can be fully solar powered. So we, we connect like solar panels to it. Right now we are here for a pilot project. We got here on Monday actually. Okay. And since Monday we've been cleaning every day. So so you'll see that there's like a pile of trash on the shore back there as well. We've been collecting it every day. So in total, I think we have quite a bit. We've got the weighing scale to measure in the It's the last day. There's all sorts of things like, you know. Of course, all these tetra packs and all. Mm -hmm. But also like shoes, slippers, bottles. Um, so actually, this is a manual one. Uh -huh. So it's taking a little bit longer. Like it takes us about 10 to 15 minutes to empty this out. Okay. But we have one in which, you know, this thing kind of just flips over okay. and uh, then you, you don't have to like empty it out manually. And that's a lot easier. So we also have this bag here. We actually stitched this locally here in, in Shillong. Uh -huh. And then you kind of just, it has like an elastic around it. Yeah. You just close it and take it out. It's kind of easy in and out. But yeah, this robot is doing a manual kind of thing. So. So you can just set it that you know you want to clean this area, uh -huh. and it can just go like a Roomba, you know, it goes okay. like room cleaning machines, yeah, yeah. just like that. It just goes back and forth, and it can run for like straight four hours cleaning that area, and come back to the shore. I think I think with this small boat, I think we need a few of them to finish off the work in like five to six months. But we but we have like a bigger boat as well, which is like this tall and about that big. Right, and that one we hope like in two to three months we can clean it up. We ran, well Monday we kind of just scouted around. Uh -huh. We started running seriously on Wednesday. Yeah. And so it's been, now this is the third day or something. Yeah. How, how do you charge this with them? Sorry? How do you charge this with Oh, we just kind of take take this back to the shore, uh -huh. and because there's no electricity nearby, we just take the batteries out yeah. and plug it in somewhere in our house. Okay. It's simple, just one click to kind of take the batteries out. Um, but we're thinking if we kind of have to do this long term here, yeah. uh, we'll set up solar panels, and the robot can run completely through like solar energy. So this is, uh, it started between me and my co-founder, Sadan, the two of us. Uh, we founded this company about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually studied together in college. And then since then, we've been sort of working on this. And... So, uh, so I mean, how, how did you connect with the government? With uh, oh, yeah. Here yeah, we're yeah, working with SVM, yeah. Smart Grid movement got them in, and then we collaborated government of Antalya and their smart village. Yeah. Thank you. So, so we should clear about the smart village part of smart village. 
No, so pure bond is not the part. So smart bond is works in different verticals. This is one of the pilot projects. Yes. And then in the coming days, we'll see if it scales. <laughs> if the government feels that it's uh, you know uh, it's beneficial, then yeah. Because you see, this is the site where you also fish. So just earlier there were about I think even there now they are there the fishermen, right? So it's also beneficial to the fishermen community. Mm -hmm. So how long will you be here for this project now? So the pilot is over today, today yeah. and then we will be having meetings and then we have to see like about the scale. So that that is yet to be decided. So in total, since you came, how, how many species of crabs have you collected? Hmm. I think they have not weighed the total yet. So uh -huh. they are approximately, approximately around, I, I think I'm confident to say around 200 to 50 kgs. I think. Yeah. This is already like half of this. And it's already a There were also some logistical issues, like the availability of boats and such, right? Actually, from a technology standpoint, you don't have to be here because the bot has sort of cameras and scan and yeah, yeah, lidar yeah. scanners and stuff. Scanner in front. Then, you can drive it from anywhere, oh. right? Oh, but oh, so you have a basic kind of a thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it has a camera and stuff on it, the view on it as well. So it looks like that. I know the screen is off, but um, so it also gives the pictorial graph of like you know diagram so of. It has like a whole video plus GPS system here, mm. so you can control it from anywhere. This remote itself has a 10 kilometer range, mm -hmm. but it also works on the internet, so you can be anywhere in the world to drive it. Mm -hmm. It's very simple to use. Even budding can drive it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, again, as, if the pilot goes well, if the, if the, you know, the government and uh, and everybody, all the parties involved, basically think that the pilot has gone well, mm -hmm. and they do sort of allow us to get these boats here, we'll be here long term. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, the vision is this, right? This, let's say, uh, six, six months to one year, this place should be clean. I mean, the when we came here on Monday. I was visibly sure because we we've, we've done we've done this robot in a lot of different places. We've run it in Hong Kong, we've run it here in India and Bangalore, but we've never seen our robot run in such dirty waters. Uh, oh. So 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 this is kind of a little bit you know shaking there to see how much trash is here. To be honest, so if you're asking about the biggest achievement, the biggest achievement is that hey we we've, we've collected <laughs> what 300, 230, 200, 250, 300 kgs of trash. I think that's it's achievement enough. Meghalaya yeah. <laughs> is apparently known to be one of the cleanest. What an army, no? This machine itself has been around for two years and he's working in different sites in India as well. So, to be very honest, we've designed these boats to last really long. It's made out of fiberglass. <laughs> and that's what, you know, those big yachts and stuff are made out of. So, um, we don't think this boat is going anywhere in 10 years. Right. So, obviously, as the technology improves, we keep improving the technology on the board, but uh, the body itself is going to stay for, for 10 years in this body. We've been running it in open oceans as well. So, in Hong Kong, actually, we clean oceans around the Hong Kong Island. So, we've been, we've tested this. That's why this boat is in a catamaran design, as we call it. It has two hulls, mm -hmm. right? And so, it can survive waves. It's very stable. It drives a little slower, but you know it, it's very stable. It can survive all kinds of waves, water, won't capsize weathers. Yeah. Yeah. It can survive all kinds of weathers and all. So. You know the rains in Meghalaya are brutal over there. So. Uh, but then, when they be shukur here, the key is like a chimpo or something. Anastan. Oh. Absolutely. Never. Someone who's done doing that, he can do that. So, all I have is time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Saya gelap lagi percang You tanya, you tanya Ini ban lum You tanya, you tanya Ya, sini, 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 Di kelong di, ha ha, lo teman ni di scrap kan? Di tu gigi gigi tam tak gay bar kata. Tapi lah. Nanti nampak sama juga. And a lot of other things like like he said, there are three kind of boats. So according to our requirement and the target areas, we have to decide. Because the boat also is of different cost, right? So all of those factors will have to be taken into consideration while planning the scale of this. Well, is the local community involved then? Local community was involved, yes. I think uh, our team who was here had uh, talked to fishermen community. Yes. And they had, I think they also kind of uh, allowed, um, you know, for them to run the boat to change their fishing timings so that they can do the whole recce and the whole demo nicely. And also they said that it would be good for them if like the, you know, the area is clean because this is the area they come for fishing the most. So I mean, I think it will benefit them the most rather than, you know, the lake being clean and all for sure, but then the fishermen community, the local community here.